how much of a tortuous process has the 2023 election campaign trail now become for Bola Ahmed Tinubu and his aides as they come to realize that every clangor he drops on the hustings will make the media cut. They have no mandate. What they have na ice cream, he melt quick. You get me? They are yeah, yeah people. Atiku, where we make up Senate president? Abba, you sell this, you sell that, assets, our commonwealth, our patrimony, everything that we have, we sell them, we become skeleton. I think we no care. As vice president. As vice president. And that's Bola Ahmed Tinubu there with his latest blooper on the campaign trail. So with the presidential election now just 24 days or so away, and with the front runners fair game for attacks from every direction, whose political fortunes are teetering and who will be crowned Nigeria's top man? Well, in light of this latest clangor by the APC presidential candidate, Frank Shaibu, who's a special assistant and public communication to the PDP presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar, has been setting out the case for voting for Mr. Abubakar in preference to Bola Ahmed Tinubu, Pitobi, and Rabi Yukwankwasa. And Mr. Shaibu joins me now in the studio. Thank you very much indeed for coming in. Thank you, Charles. How do you do? Very well indeed. And um, you wrote a lot of very interesting things in response to um, <laughs> that latest clangor from Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Just summarize briefly for us what your reaction to it has been. You see, uh, first off, I would say that um, for a man who seeks to be president of the most populous black nation in the world, it should not just be fit in character, health, education, but it should be an all-rounder. But in the circumstance, you know, the media handlers of this, the candidate of the APC have been managing him because each time he speaks, they make him look as if he were a toddler because they have to offer explanations by issuing press statements to explain what their candidate meant. You know, unfortunately, there are some that uh, become completely inexplicable, mm. but particularly when, um, when um, it's, they, are, they are captured on live television, you know, and uh, transmitted to the people. So no matter how much they try to make conjectures, how much they try to manipulate the minds of the people, and like I tell them as, I, I tell them as always, it's an affront on the sensibilities of our people. His miscues, verbal miscues, uh, have been consistent, they've been habitual, they've been perennial, and it's just been there. You know, there is no way and there is no time the candidate of the APC speaks at any, any forum, either extemporaneously or he's reading from a written speech, that there will be no miscues. In fact, there was, some, there was, a, there was, a, there was a day I was listening to him and he said, look, my, my handlers have warned me to stay on the script. You know, unfortunately, he cannot. You know, and I've offered them suggestions because I'm not just a, 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 pub, a publicist. I'm a, a language therapist. And I told them, I said, look, the problem has nothing to do with... Um, uh, it's not funny anymore. You understand? It's a disaster waiting to happen. You know, and, you know but before I, I, we started this program, you know, I, I tried to show you something. I remember on the 5th of uh, November 1990, you know, Mr. Oyakirome, the chairman of NDLA, at, at that time, in 1990, he said, drug barons may determine Nigeria's political future. He, that's, this is the man I'll say, this is the man who saw tomorrow. You understand me? And it is left for Nigerians not to allow the sale of trauma dolls on the streets of Nigeria by allowing certain characters to come near office, the office of president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And that is why, you see, these miscues are not normal. It's, been, it's created content for skit makers, content for comedians. 
the candidate of the APC can favorably compete with the, the likes of Sabinus the, and, and other comedians in this country. Because each time he speaks, and, I, and when I listen to some of the, the, the characters who call themselves spokespersons around him, come on national television to embarrass us, embarrass Nigeria. It's not just about us. We are worried for Nigeria. It's about the image of Nigeria. Mm. It was sad enough when he went to Ch Chatham House and he was delegating uh, questions and you know distributing questions to his aides and said he believed in teamship. It smacks of wretched illiteracy. Right. You well, cannot say you want to be president of Nigeria mm -hmm. and you do not want to subject yourself to, to, to an interview. You cannot go for a job employment without inter an interview. So you want an automatic employment without an interview. Mm -hmm. And that cannot happen. Now, in the circumstance, this excuse, as I've always said and I've said consistently, look, there's what we call dysatria. And I would like you to maybe call maybe uh, any, any speech therapist of your choice. And I know that um, by reputation, I know that you, you, you spent a good part of your time outside Nigeria. You should be able to cross fertilize ideas with some of your colleagues out there. The cetera is not something abnormal, but it does, it's, it's something that has to do with one's mental, uh, one's nerve, nervous system. And when there is a disconnect between the nervous system, the, 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 between the brain, the mouth, the jaw, and the lips, are you with me? Mm. Particularly when a man means, it, it, maybe he has an idea of what he wants to say. But each time he opens his mouth to say something, there is a disconnect. Now, I cannot understand in 2023 that a man who is seeking the highest office in the land, in one breath he talked about Bulaba, Bala Blue. Before the people recover from that, he said he was going to turn the writing situation into a bad one. You understand me? And from there, he will move to other things, referring to a governor of the, of the a man who was aspiring to be governor of Delta, said he was going to be governor of Niger Delta State. Now, today, he has Christian Atiko Obaka as someone he made president, uh, Senate president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That's a man who has never contested right, elections okay. as a uh, into, into the legislative. Right. Well, 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 let's take these yes. things one after the other. Yes. I mean, because the, the APC say all this is just malicious tittle-tattle, an attempt to stop their candidate, which will not work. Now, the point that is being made is that there are a lot of people who have run for president. I was discussing this with one of our analysts yesterday. Um, a lot of people who run for president who make a lot of bloopers and gaffes. I mean, if you look at President Joe Biden in America, I mean, he, he, there's an article I was reading, he is just gaffes all the way. Um, if you look at George W. Bush, who was considerably younger, he made a lot of gaps. If you look at Ronald Reagan. But if you look at the track record of some of these people, certainly people like Ronald Reagan, they're considered one of the most successful presidents in American history. These circumstances are different. So, the so, kind of gaps you're talking about, you see, these are books, these are, these are uh, uh, yeah, but, but, but I have of, read about before. But a, a lot of those gaps are also associated with the aging process. No, no, but this, they, one, this, still, one, this one has nothing but, to do, this but, one is but, not even associated. With but, but they're still they still manage no, that's to run a, that's their, their country that's successfully. That's 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 has nothing to do with age. Even even a ten year old can have that It's not it has nothing to do with age. Instead, it has to do with sometimes, particularly maybe substance abuse in whatever form. I may not know what he ingests or what he takes, but the issue is simple. I know that um, some of us had the privilege of listening to him some years ago while he was governor. Today, as we speak, he is not mentally fit to be president of Nigeria. But on what now, basis do you make that? No, no, on no, the basis of the bloopers he's made? Because you haven't it, seen any medical it, report no, no, that no. tells you, see, you that he is not mentally you have You have listened to this man. You ha who has no, gone, I've listened to him. Have, uh, Most on. of what he says makes sense. And then he makes a mistake. No, no, no. Which, okay, which is no, entirely okay, so no, 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 wait, wait. With profound respect to you. What is the meaning, since most of what he says makes sense, what is the meaning of Bula Ba, Bala Blue? Well, if you a, can tell me, see, no, with see, profound respect. Yeah. Well, you're with, asking me a no, question. Yeah, I'm asking you a question. I, I'm, and not I want a direct answer. I'm not a spokesman for the APC. No, but you just told but, me that but, most of the no, things no, no. he says make sense. What I'm saying yes. is this. If you take a speech yes. or a, a rally that yes. he is at and where he's been speaking for 10 minutes. Yes. No, you, no, he you, has no, never no, spoken for 10 minutes. I'm just giving you an example, okay? Five minutes, yes. three minutes, out of that time that he speaks, maybe, you know, and it's not every single time, but there have been times, and obviously because we're media, we jump at it. Let me just make the point. If you look at some of that, yes. out of that five minutes, you may have 
For example, when he said we made him Senate president, I mean, that was literally three seconds, three words per second. That's how we calculated in broadcasting. Yes. So that's literally two seconds at the most out of everything he said. Yes. Okay. What I'm trying to understand. And he needed, and he needed someone beside him to tell him that Atiku was never yeah, Senate but president. but it happens. Sometimes no. people make slips. Even, no, not, see, slips with profound respect to yeah. you, Charles. With profound respect to you. You know, I asked you a question and I never got an answer, particularly as it relates to the meaning, because you said most of what, when you say most of, yeah, but, most of, but, with, with, profound, yeah, with, actually, with profound respect mm. to you, please. You know, so that interjections like this will not allow me flow and yeah, our go, go viewers on, will, not on, on, will, will not be able to connect with our flow right. of conversation. You know, now the issue is simple. When we use most of, most of means a majority of whatever he says makes sense. And I put it to you, sir. While speaking in Calabar, the video I just watched, he insulted other candidates for a few minutes, for one or two minutes, made his blunder, and it ended there. Because that's all he does. You know, he climbs the podium. Oh, it's unprecedented. I'm not sure you have any video clip anywhere since the, the 2023 campaign started where you will see Atiku Abubakar on the podium or any platform insulting or casting aspersions on Bola Ahmed Tinubu. I think Obakar is aware that Bola Ahmed Tinubu forfeited for 60,000 US dollars to the US government on a heroin trafficking case. He has never mentioned it. Mm. He is aware too, I think Obakar, former vice president, I think Obakar, is aware too that Alpha Beta Consulting, owned by, Atiku, owned by Bola Ahmed Tinubu, with profound respect, transferred money, wired money on the 18th of March 2015 to the tune of about four, four, four point something million US dollars to one Summit Integrated Services Limited, a company owned by an unknown entrepreneur who is based in Paranquilla in Colombia. Now, Paranquilla in Colombia, for instance, Atiku is aware. He is aware too, and it is on record. It's in the public space. That Paranquilla is known to be a city that has one a, that has a seaport that is notorious for the trafficking of heroin and cocaine world over. Now, for a man who just came out of what they call a dead issue relating to drug trafficking as far back as 1991, in 2015, his private company, Alpha Beta Consulting, is transferring funds in the tune, to the tune of over 4.7 million in 2015 to a company, a briefcase company in the United Kingdom whose directors are based in Paranquilla, Colombia. In fact, when we went further, we discovered that the net worth of that company was not more than 50,000 US dollars. Yeah. Now, Atiku is aware of this, but he has never. Instead, he, he gets to the podium, he sells his programs of actions to the people. Yeah. Now, when you have a candidate, you see, my people, you know, I don't know what part of Nigeria you come from, but in, in, in the Gala Kingdom, where I come from, in Kogi State, we have a, a native proverb where we tell you that when a man, if you are having a conversation with a man and he starts with insult, you know that he is empty. He has nothing to say about okay, you. Let, let okay, let, let, let me come in, in here because we're, we're running out of time. Oh, no, so we, if you stay on that trajectory, we won't get to talk about no, a lot of other things. It is not about trajectory, but yeah, you see, I need to bring a closure to my explanation. Well, but very so the briefly. Issue, yes, I will, briefly. I will summarize. Yeah. I will summarize. Now, in the circumstance, yeah. When you see, when a, man, when a man's gaffes and miscues are consistent and habitual at every event, at every function, at every public uh, 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 event, what, is the, what, what deductions do you make of it? When the same man avoids public interrogation, Arise TV, we, you and I know what, what, that a lot of water passed under the bridge when he was invited to come to the around Arise TV town hall meeting and other town hall right. meetings. Okay. He well, only attends town hall meetings organized by his team right. okay. and you, with you, his you've, a specific audience. You've made that point. So there, there is we something won't be able to get to been, anything else. Yes. The point really is this. Yes. Okay, you've, made, you've said a lot of things about him, but yes. 
a lot of other people also have made allegations, including the APC. Yes. They've even gone to court against your candidate. Yes. Allegations of corruption, allegations of money laundering, yes. allegations of, of you know, malfeasance yes. when it comes to issues relating to cash. And, and a lot of young people are hostile to both the PDP and the APC. They see them as members of the same alliance, part of the shrinking citizenry of Nigerian politicians that have jointly wasted this country's resources and are now in a last gasp engaging in a point scoring contest against each other. What do you say to those we, people? In fact, funny, funnily enough, I am excited that you said that they've even gone to court. Atiku is one candidate and one human being in Nigeria that is the most investigated and most tried person in courts. No corruption, all corruption cases, all cases brought against him in our courts of competent jurisdiction have been, were all thrown out. The last one being the one instituted by uh, a, a, the Minister of State for Labor and uh, the, one of the spokespersons of the APC. He's in court and it's a matter before a, a court of competent jurisdiction. Obviously, it would be difficult for me to, to pass comments on that particular <coughs> issue. But one thing I would say is simple. It's not about accusations and counter-accusations. We are talking about, in the, in the circumstance where we are talking about a, a character who, who tells a lot of lies, multiple lies. Right. You, don't, you don't keep lying to the people. Only yesterday, in Calabar, the candidate of the APC accused President Muhammad Buhari of not having the capacity not having the capacity to improve the value okay. of our currency. Hold Frank, on, I, on, I apologize. And I want to say that. We, we've on. literally run out of time, and I apologize for this. This is why I was saying to you to circumscribe your answers. <laughs> I do apologize, but please come back and talk to us again. We'll try and find more time to discuss with you. Frank Schweibe is Special Assistant on Public Communications to the PDP presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar. And I do apologize. Thank you very much indeed. That's it for this edition of Arise Prime Time. Join us again tomorrow from me and the entire team here in Abuja. Bye-bye and thank you for watching.